So developers in the Scotlandville area say the parish is not holding up their end of the bargain, putting a project to help first responders at a standstill. Our Miranda Thomas is here tonight to explain what the holdup is. Miranda. Greg, the Housing for Heroes project was first announced by Mayor Broom back in 2021. Now developers and Councilwoman Shauna Banks claim it is unclear why they have yet to receive funding. By purchasing an entire block, some developers were hoping to bring more businesses to North Baton Rouge. So I'm talking to older uh, citizens of Scotlandville and they love being from Scotlandville. Talk to younger people and they hate it. They're embarrassed. The group is on a mission to revitalize this area, but claim to be stuck in limbo. You shouldn't have to go to College of Southern and LSU and go live all the way in Prairieville. You, you, should live, you should live right in your own community and build it up. It's important. Back in 2021, Hakeem Khalid tells me he applied for a grant with the American Rescue Plan. That grant would fund a project called Housing for Heroes, a 36-unit affordable housing development for first responders. It was approved by the council with other projects like the stormwater and drainage projects, but today, as you can see, the lot is still empty. These developers already have the land. They already have the plan. They already have the contractors. So for us, instead of us standing here, we should have been now opening doors or having a, brown, um, a groundbreaking, not still begging for the money. That's because the check hasn't cleared. Once the grant was approved by the Baton Rouge Metro Council back in 2021, the developers invested their own funds on frontage, under the impression that the Housing for Heroes project would sit right behind it. People thinking that we received it like a year ago and haven't started on the project. They are hoping to find some answers soon, claiming the city hasn't funded them because of its location. And the Treasury Department actually backs the proposal that Housing for Heroes actually submitted and showed that in fact there was no public bid process necessary. We did speak with a spokesperson for the city. There was no clear answer as to why the funding isn't there, but it was said that they've been working to move the project forward in a legal and ethical manner. We are one of the five in this community that have been neglected historically. And the fact that, um, you know, we are not benefiting, we want the entire community to know that out of $80 million, they too should have a project like Housing for Heroes. If you're interested in learning more about this, there will be a meeting next week. All right, cool. We'll put that on the app for them. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You.